to compare it whether the sample mean score is statistically different with our population mean score for that we can adopt the one sample data uh, now we know that uh, how we can compare it with the use of data for doing a one sample data this kind of assumption are needed madam she already highlighted the assumptions so once again i will tell that for doing a one sample data we need a only one group mean score is needed that is called a sample group mean score that score that um, variable should be in a continuous nature it means the interval or ratio the observation or independent another it means that uh, is is nothing is nothing but is an unrelated unrelated sample for example uh, when we go control group pre test post test it means that the pre test and post test is written by the same group members this is called as an related sample related sample okay but here is unrelated sample each samples not independent to each other it means that independent of one another dependent variable should not contain any outliers you know that for example i conducted the examination for 100 mark um nearly 99% of students are got uh, above 60 only only one or two students for example two students they got nearly 30 and 35 it means that because of the two students mark in the 30 to 35 it affects the mean also so that time what is uh, affect it may be affect the uh, standard deviation as well as it may affect the calculation uh, and therefore kindly avoid if you have any kind of outliers let you know the data otherwise don't be doing this kind of one sample data outlier means that some course cannot be deviated from the that uh, what is that other course should be lying in one area dependent variable should be normally distributed because it is a purely in parametric statistics therefore and uh, the condition to ad- adopting a uh, parametric statistics the distribution should be in normal nature so these are the conditions so how we can make the hypothesis for this for doing a one sample data the hypothesis should like this because i already mentioned that the sample mean is equal to the population mean that is the null hypothesis otherwise there is no significant difference between uh, sample mean and the uh, population mean so that is called hypothesis when you go for making hypothesis for the one sample data you can make like this only that's why i'm giving the uh, example also if you go with the alternate hypothesis this is opposite form the sample mean is not equal to the population mean so otherwise there is no significant uh, there is a significant difference between um, uh, what is that uh, sample mean and the population that is the hypothesis when doing for the uh, one sample data so this a part we can do in uh, spss so analysis compare means and one sample data i hope all of you know so these things i will discuss while we go for the spss output now when we can do independent sample data for doing independent sample data which condition we can uh, do a independent sample data so here i highlight one terms if you want to compare the two groups but the two groups are unrelated to each other then we can adopt the independent sample data the independent sample data determines whether there is a statistical significant difference between the means of two unrelated groups for example male and female group so you want to check the male achievement and female achievement you want to compare you can do a independent sample data here there is a two different groups other male is a group female is a group but here that sample is not uh, what is that the link with each other because the male is not come to the female female is not come to the male sample therefore here that two unrelated groups are there. if you want to compare these two unrelated groups we can adopt the independent sample data i hope you may get it um, so these are the condition these are the different names are there for the independent sample data some people may talk about the independent measure data independent two sample data student data two sample data uncorrelated score data unpaired data unrelated data so these are the names in different book they are using different different uh, way so don't be confused with that independent sample data may call as this kind of names you can adopt any names these are the conditions or assumption while doing a independent sample data the dependent variable must be continuous the same thing for the one sample data also the independent variables should consist of two categorical i already mentioned that if you have the only two groups only here the independent variable is nothing but our demographic variable dependent variable is called as a steady variable the dependent variable should be in a continuous nature but the independent variable should be in a categorical nature but with the but the category only two category only like male and female or rural and urban that kind of comparison only we can adopt the t test independent sample test if more than two groups more than two subgroups or two categorical groups then you can go with anova 
then here the sample won't be uh, depends with each other that's why the independence of observations here the another condition to uh, adopting independent sample theaters no significant outliers the scores won't be deviated much from the other uh, scores so that also we may check it the dependent variable should be approximately normal so these are the condition once uh, the data as well as the distributions to be satisfying this condition then you can adopt the independent sample theaters and this is an hypothesis we can make it but see here when i'm doing the uh, uh, one sample theaters the hypothesis is like this h not is equal to mu1 equal to that mu1 is equal to uh, m1 so we are comparing with the sample mean with population mean. but here we are comparing the two different groups so mu1 is a population of first group uh, mu2 is a population of group here why we are writing the interpretation sorry i pass for population the sense because even we are doing the correlation only for sample but the sample findings may add up for the sample findings may add up for the um, uh, what is that population also therefore it's called as inferential statistics what is my inferential statistic we are doing a correlation for um, sample only but that sample findings may adopted for the may adopted for the um, may adopt it for the um yeah, the, the sample finding may adopt it for the uh, population also therefore it's called inference statistics here also we are writing the um, uh, hypothesis only for the population only so h0 equal to mu1 equal to mu1 uh, mu2 otherwise the two population means are equal like that we can go with the different that alternate also i highlighted but when we go for a independent sample it just start see madam also highlighted that we want to check the homogeneity of the variance for checking the homogeneity of variance we can go with the levens test of the equality variance there we may take the hypothesis like this so here the levens test i am talking about the levens test it means that uh, whether the groups are equal variance assumed or not uh, equal groups uh, variance assumed for checking that we have to go with some hypothesis for this the null hypothesis sigma 1 square sigma 1 square is nothing but the variance of the first group sigma 2 square is nothing but the variance of the second group therefore here the h not is nothing but sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square otherwise sigma 1 square minus sigma 2 square equal to zero like that we are taking the null hypothesis then we are checking the calculations so this is a path for doing a independent sample test uh, now i'm going with the third sample test here see here that the uh, example is to be found on that so here the only the one uh, uh, thing is there only one sample is that from this the two end of two what is the two layer is coming so it means that a single sample group a single sample group but you are come you are conducting a two uh, times the examinations you can go with this kind of four sample it just it means that single group with a two time interval you are conducting any examination if you want to compare it with the pre test and post test you can adopt the four sample kit test so here the conditions related sample so their independent sample the t term is called unrelated sample unrelated means each groups differ male is differ female is differ but here uh, related sample it means that the sample same but two times two interval time you are conducting some examination then you can go with fair sample t test it means as a related related samples so here when we can use birth fair sample t test whether there is a statistical evidence that the means difference between the forward observation of a particular outcome suppose i want to check in the control group uh, whether any significant difference between the pre test and post test scores so here there is two test pre test and post test but i am going to compare with only single group only in the control group whether the pre test and post test have any significant difference further we can go with the four sample test hopefully uh, normally only the experimental method only we may use the four sample test the survey method we won't adopt the four sample test because the assumption is not be satisfied i hope you may get it for the survey method we won't use the four sample test only for the experimental method based on hypothesis we can select whether the hypothesis want to go with the independent sample test or dependent sample test we can go with this suppose i am going to ask one question to all of you uh, uh yes sir, sir when i go for a presentation demonstration i go very slowly don't worry um bakshara uh, uh, because uh, these things madam she already highlighted so once again i am repeating that so i am going little fast when i coming for my demonstration i go very slow so i hope you may get it yes so first sample t test 
uh, used to for comparing a single group to comparing the two tests for a single group we can go with the first ability test now i am going to ask a single questions i request the participant to give the answers in the chat box that question for you i am going to develop a hypothesis like this there is no significant difference between control group and experimental group means course of pre test so for this hypothesis what kind of t test we had to adopt whether we can go with independent sample t test or first sample t test can you give your answer please kindly uh, share my um, no no please kindly share my uh, hypothesis properly the hypothesis I, what i said there is no significant difference between control group and experimental group students in their pre test so what kind of uh, statistic techniques we can use it no 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 yes anbu is correct because here i am asking the two test two groups what is the two groups control group and experimental groups a two group but i am comparing only one test what is the test pre test if you are comparing the control group and experimental group students in a single test then you can go for independent sample t test because the independent sample t test two different groups are there because the control group students cannot come to the experimental group the experimental students cannot come to the uh, control group it means that the two groups are independent to each other so if you have the two groups only one test i hope you get it two groups one test you can go with the independent sample t test right correct now i'm going to spell the other hypothesis now you can give the response in the chat box there is no significant difference in the mean scores of pre test and post test scores in the control group in the control group there is no significant difference in the mean scores of pre test and post test scores of control group yes exactly support sample data so why why square sample because i am using a single group what is my group control group is my group what is the test i am comparing i am comparing with the pre test and post test therefore here a single group with the two tests single group with the two tests we can go with the post sample i hope all of you get it if you have these two group one test two group with one test independent sample t test one group with the t two group so two two tests you can go with post sample i hope all of you get it so for this we may use it these are the conditions uh this is an another names of for the poor sample tetas some people may talk about the dependent tetas dependent sample tetas repeated measure tetas correct correlated scores tetas per tetas these for different names are there some people may call us dependent also uh these are the condition we can do with the assumption uh, this assumption satisfied only we can go with poor sample tetas the first assumption the dependent variable must be continuous uh yeah. then variable the independent variable should be related to each other it means that the group is same test will only differ so no significant outliers then the distribution may be normal these are the condition we can adopt the assumption sorry per sample t test this way we can go for the hypothesis the same kind of hypothesis here the mu one represent uh, the variable the what is the the pre test mean mu to represent the post test mean of control group so the third population mean sorry well, that is hypothesis we have to make it in the when you go for per sample t test i hope all of you get it i am going for the excel statistic first this is a path analyze compare means as well the per sample t test it is a path to do a yeah? per sample t test now i am coming to the my excel now i am coming to my excel so only 15 minutes more so i am coming to my excel uh, the excel the excel file so if you want to do parallelly you can come to my uh, Uh, you can download my the excel sheets in my in your end in the google classroom uh, now i'm going to demonstrate how to do a statistics pre test by using a uh, excel statistics see here uh, i am already shared this much of uh, content this much of pages in a single um, google excel sheets there is a first link is called descriptive so now i'm going to not talk about the descriptive i'm going with the t test only but even though i'm giving the output of the other things also if you want you can check it how uh, that output is coming now i'm going to be highlight only the t test actually for doing a t test we need to add we need to add one add in software in the excel sheets in the excel sheets because now doing a 
um calculation through excel is very simple is like a sps is only like graphical user interface that did for this we need some add on software just i'm going to tell how to uh, create an add on software with the use of google uh, with the use of your excel sheets so you can open any kind of excel sheets otherwise the demo excel sheets i given no there you can open any then i'm going to demonstrate how to to install the add-ons of the excel sheets okay those who are using a 2008 or 2010 version then uh, or 2013 version of excel it may working please kindly just screen go with file go with file so in the after opening your excel sheet go with file options in the file options if you come down there is an option called options there is an options called ins if you click options if you click option there is a pop up menu it comes there is a separate pop up menu comes yeah in the pop up menu it's in pop up menu in the pop up menu there is an option called add in see here the terms add in add on or plugged in so different names are using but the microsoft using the term add in add in so add in means the already existing um, packages the is like like a beacon use this third party tool to enrich the Of the that first part, this we are using the add-ins. The add-ins. If you click the add-ins options, uh, so if you click the add-in apps, it goes to the next page. There you can select the add-ins tool pack. So analysis tool pack. This is called analysis tool pack. Clicking the analysis tool pack. In the down the manage, there is called the Excel add-ins. Excel add-ins. There you can default it becomes an Excel add-ins. Then after that, click go. If you click go, the next to pop up menu comes. Next to pop up menu, there you can click the first two analysis tool pack, analysis tool pack, BPA. These two things you can click. Then click OK. Once you click OK, that software may install the add-in software may install in your uh, laptop. Then after that, we can easily use for the this kind of calculations. We use the same kind of SP tactics here. So very simple. Yeah, I hope all understand now how to install it. Put U U U U. I can go to the next level. So I hope those who are doing parallelly, you may install the this uh, package. It's a third-party tool. That tool name is called uh, Tool Pack. In the add-on software is available in Excel six. So those who are installed, put I. Those who are understand how to do it, put U. So I request the people kindly give your um, comments on the chat box. Yeah, so yes, most will understand. If you want, I will explain once again. So some people said did also good. So if you put I, I could understand that you install. Yeah, so yeah, no problem. I will explain the interpret guru karu. I request the participant kindly see how we can install the the add-on software because see here, if I click the data, I may find out the data analysis. This option. If you click the data only, this data analysis comes once you install it. Otherwise, the data analysis it won't be comes in your screen. I will demonstrate once again how we can install the data analysis package in your app, in your Excel sheets. Go with the file. So after opening your any Excel sheets, go with the file. If you go with the file, it open the uh, options of file. There you can come to the down. If you come to the down, there is an options of options. Click the options. in the options click the add ins click the add ins if you click the add ins you may find out the add ins what are the add ins are available there you can select the first add ins that is called analysis tool pack then after selecting the first go with the go in down there is an option called manage go click go if you click go it shows the the which are the um, tools you needed you can select the first two analysis tool pack analysis tool pack of bba then click okay If you click B, okay, then in the data you may find the data analysis part. So, yeah, those who are installed, those who are view these things, those who are view in your laptop, you can put B V V. So I can understand you are able to see the data analysis link. So there is an option called data. If you click the data, then only you may see the data analysis. Data analysis, yes. So Merlin Teresa and others, yeah. So most of the people are able to do. Now, what is the advantage of this kind of third-party tool? No, we can use the same kind of features and over by using the Excel itself. Just I am going to delete this one. So I am deleting because already I did that. 
page just i'm deleting this uh, i'm deleting this one for the uh, yeah so i'm deleting this column yes see here uh, now i'm going to do a t test now but see here i you must to top what t test i'm going to adopt it. for example i'm opening the second column t test t test of this again the seats now you are seeing the data's like male group female group for example male scores of achievement female achievement so uh, i already mentioned that uh, here the two groups are there. what is the group male female is a group male and female is a group it is a group okay the test so test how many test only one test what is our test achievement achievement is a test okay now we can tell what teachers we can adopt it i request the participant kindly give the response in the chat box exactly suresh said is correct mundi bora is correct because we are adopting a independent status why because the group is two we have the two group only one test therefore we can adopt the independent sample so exactly is correct right next condition to adopting uh, the group no we can take as a group as a independent variable group as a independent variable so independent variable so i put as an iv so i put as an iv so independent variable i hope you are getting my screen also i put as an independent variable the test we can take as a dependent variable dependent variable so now you can tell okay now you can tell uh, wh what kind of independent variable we have so we know the uh, two what is that scale uh, nominal ordinal interval and ratio so finally tell the independent variable what format is this independent weight format is this is it a categorical variable or no? a continuous variable the independent variable independent variable in what format is this an independent variable yeah exactly it is a nominal it is a nominal so it means as a categorical variable that's a basic condition to do a independent sample t test yes so for doing a independent sample t test what is the condition independent variable should have the only two groups therefore two groups male and female then it should be a categorical it should be nominal now see the come to the case of dependent variable what is the condition the dependent variable whether it should be a, a, a categorical or continuous what is the format what is the format of the continuous variable sir what is the dependent variable yeah so it may be interval or ratio it may be interval or ratio it means it is a continuous variable so it is a continuous variable <coughs> this is a conditions we can use the independent sample t i hope all of you get it the independent variable the condition to adopt our assumption to adopt a independent sample t test independent variable only two groups only two groups it may be a nominal format the dependent variable should be a only one test but it be a continuous format okay so i hope all of you knows now i'm going to do a t test for this i'm going to do a independent sample t test here male is a one group female is a one group so now after opening the sheet go with the data i request the participants kindly see my screen after opening the sheets go with the data if you go with the data there is a right, last corner you may find out the data analysis link click the data analysis link once you click the data analysis there is a pop up menu comes there is a separate pop up menu yeah so there all the calculations are available anova two factor anova two factor with repetition correlate correlation covariance descriptive statistics yeah, test histogram then uh, i am going with the t test only so here there is a two things is are there if you feel that it we have to assume that the t test and the equal variance you can do with the t test of two sample as equal variance if you feel that the equal variance not assumed that we can go with the unequal variance so now i am going with the equal variance so once again i will tell how to go with this after opening a sheet click the data in the data go with the data analysis in the data analysis come down there is an option called t test two sample because we are seeing two sample male is one sample female is another sample two sample assume equal variance so i am selecting that one then after that click okay then there is a separate pop up menu there is variance what is your first variable our first variable is male therefore what you have to do keep the cursor with the first variable that cursor is blinking 
So once see the classes linking the variable one range, select the range, select the scores male up to the 15. See here, after selecting directly the scores is coming, B1 to B16. Now I'm going to enter the second variable. So keep the cursor in the second variable range, that cursor there. Then after this, you can select the, the female group and select in the female group. Therefore, the variable one B1 to B16, B2 variable two C1 to C21. I hope all of you get it. So after selecting this one, alpha value is nothing but significant value is 95 percent they have developed significant it means that um uh, nine sir it means that 0 0.05 level of significant 95 level of confidence that you can fix it if you want fix 0 0.01 you can fix 0 0.01 but i fix as 0 0.05 then i need the output if i click the output if i click the output click the output range there it asks the the three things sorry i'm going with one second okay i'm going with one second in the output view if you click it there is an now worksheet play in the sense uh, it new worksheet may in the sense the output may come as a separate new worksheet if you want to create a new uh, excel sheet and uh, the output may come there you can go with the new workbook but for us output range we want to get the output the same page click the output range and keep the cursor keep the cursor in the that box after that you can select the any spaces so i'm selecting the f uh, 9 i'm selecting the f 10 after selecting f 10 you can check in the output range f 10 is there then click ok if you click ok so uh, input range is non-numerical yeah so what did it know so please here uh, here i am fixing the uh, male and female is here label because male and female is heading sir male and females are heading sir that, that what you have to do select as a label so if you select uh, if you are selecting only the scores don't you click the labels but if you are selecting male also as a heading you can click as a label then only output comes so select the labels then click ok now the output is ready see here the output so that output is coming so the male groups uh, the female groups everything comes because i did one i'm selecting only the one group that's why it comes like this so just I'm doing the same process once again for you. Kindly see my screen. I'm going to explain once again. I'm going to data analysis. Click the two sample equal variance or go with uh, two sample assuming variance. I'm going with equal variance. Click OK. Then I'm selecting the path um, C1, C2. Uh, I'm selecting the all the layers. Then output range also I'm fixing the output range. Then sorry, input range is changing. So input range I'm selecting this one. This is the input range. Then output range, I am selecting this female group. Then after this, select the output range. So I am selecting the output range here. So I am selecting the output range somewhat here. So I am keeping here. Then after this, click OK. So you may get the output like this. See here, the output it comes to male output, female output. Uh, yeah. So here, the male group means both main group variance. Variance is nothing but the square root of the standard deviations. The observation, observation is nothing but the n. So here, male 15, female 20. Uh, here the df is 33 because n plus n1 plus n2 minus 2. It means that 35 minus 2 is called 33. Here the p value, normally the p value is 2.56. We could not take it as a uh, negative value. Take it as a positive value because here the mean difference we are taking the mean difference only not in the magnitude therefore we may take this the t value is 2.56 only the p value for the two type we can take as a p value p value is nothing but significant value in this case the p value so the p value for us uh, 0 0.014 so 0 0.04 according to our 